Looking for a great Egan single family house nestled in a cul-de-sac with plenty of space to sprawl out, sweet open concepts, and best yet, a three car garage? Well, we got just a spot for you. Roll that intro. Hey, this is Michael Getty with Mozzie Properties, and today I'm bringing you a video walkthrough tour of 4373 Nestling Circle over here in Egan. It is a single family house right behind me. And one nice thing about this is it's in a cul-de-sac. And cul-de-sacs are pretty awesome. So kids want to come out and play, or if you just want to come out and play, you don't have to worry as much about cars driving by. Beautiful Egan setting. Nice big three car garage right off front, which is always super nice. And you got a little walkway up here, some nice hostas and mulching. That leads right to the entryway. So let's head on in. All right, so upon coming in the home, you enter into this little entryway right here, where you have Actually quite a massive coat closet. One thing that I wanna point out too is as you look up, these are some big vaulted ceilings. You have some skylights that are in here. It's got a very nice feel to it. Lots of sunlight. So here's the kitchen. Stainless steel appliances. Again, you'll notice it's a really unique design for some of the uh, ceiling areas. Look at this awesome bay window right off front here. Nice spot to put a table. If you got kids playing out front, you can watch them in the cul-de-sac. Little mini pantry right here as well. This flows out into the dining room. And it is a uh, delayed split, so it goes up and down, half flights of stairs. We'll show you the dining room area right here. Again, just to put this into perspective, these ceilings are probably at least 15 feet up, so quite a ways here. You'll notice it has uh, this railing that's over here. They have glass paneling on the railing too. Pretty unique. All right, before we head up, let's check out probably my favorite part outside of the three car garage aspect is you have this three season porch area over here. Nice little ceiling fan in here. It's basically just surrounded by walls of windows, which is awesome. And then this leads back out back to the deck. The deck will be getting stained here in about a week or so. So this should be all nicely redone. And then at the side yard and the neighbor's yard back here, look at all the privacy and trees that this backs up to. So you do get a nice sense of privacy back here too. Not like you're staring right into your neighbors or anything with all the vegetation that's growing. So again, nice big deck, perfect for grilling, as you can tell. Gets plenty of sunlight here too. I'm overtaking this one in the evening right now, about 4.30 for perspective. All right, so again, sunroom. Okay, so let's go upstairs first to show you that. And this is not, this is glass, it's not a pass-through, so it's nice that it gives you, um, you know, the visibility while still giving you some of the protection. So here's the upstairs area, little fan room, big wall of windows again. You'll notice it's kind of a theme throughout the house that it gets a ton of natural sunlight, which is great. You can kind of see the higher end of these big vaulted ceilings. Upstairs has carpet. Great place to put a couch, put a TV, hang out. And you'll notice too, obviously with this layout, it's got a very open feel to it. So it offers area of privacy while still having things feel open um, and all kind of flowing together. Little linen closet right out here. Here is one of the upstairs bedrooms. So there's two bedrooms upstairs. This one's currently being used as a studio, hence the green screen back here. Uh, but works really well as a secondary bedroom. You can see it kind of indents and goes back a little ways over here too. 
next to the closet itself. And then down here is the master bedroom. So this one is quite large. You could easily get any kind of king size furniture you want in here. Nice big ceiling fan, big window that looks out. And check it out. Nice walk in closet. Always great. Tons of shelving. So, gotta love that. And then the bathroom that's upstairs here, you can get into it from the hallway out here, but you can also get into it directly from the master. So, it's kind of a walkthrough. So, you have your tub right here, standalone shower as well, toilet, and then your sink vanity with plenty of counter space and cabinets. We'll keep keep flowing along here and go show you the downstairs area. All right. So, heading downstairs gets you directly to another family room area. There's plenty of living space in here. So if you got a larger group of people, works out well for that. Over here is a gas burning fireplace. Nice brick wall back here. Again, a ton of light that comes in. This leads to the basement. We'll go show that in a second. But before we do that, let's sneak over here and show you the washer dryer and laundry room. Some additional shelving up there as well. And then there is also a bathroom on this level with, look at this nice, Tiled shower. That's very nice. So. All right. And then off this way is where you have the third bedroom. So again, a pretty good size room. There's a ceiling light. And then a huge walk-in closet arguably even bigger than the one upstairs. So whoever gets this room gets a nice size closet too. And then this is the entrance from the garage. So a little coat closet down here too. And then just to show you the garage, here it is. So it is a three car garage. which is always nice. Even if you just have two cars, having that extra garage space for storing things always comes in handy, so. All right. I know what you're saying. Wow, that's a big house. There's still one more level. So let's go down and take a look. You have another area that is also finished. And we do have a smoke detector down here that's beeping. We just need to get a new battery. So. Not as big as the other levels, but again, just gives you another area. If it's a play place, if it's a quiet study, if it's a home office, another area that's finished down here for your use. You notice you have some windows that are over here, electrical panel. Um, this right here, both of these doors lead to the same area, which is right here. Look at the size of this water heater. Wowza, water softener furnace back there. So it's just your mechanical area. And then in here is just a closet for some additional storage. All right. Well, that wraps the tour for this property. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. Otherwise, thanks for much for watching and have a great day. Bye now. Thanks for watching our video tour. If you're interested in applying for the property, check out the video up here to see how to do our online rental application process. If it wasn't quite what you were looking for, you can browse our other active listings over here as well to see what else we have on the market. Otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified with any new content. Thanks so much and have a great day.